Welcome! In this video, you'll know all about polygons, angles on polygons, and use them to solve geometrical problems. Before we move on, please support this channel by clicking like, share and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any one of my latest tutorial videos. Your support will go long long way and help others who really need this support. Polygons are closed shapes that are made out of straight lines. For example, this shape is not a polygon. It is closed, but it is not made out of straight lines. This shape is commonly known as a circle. This shape is made out of straight lines, but it is not closed, so it's not a polygon. In order to close this shape, we need another straight line. Therefore, in order to make a polygon, you need at least three straight lines. A shape made out of three straight lines is also commonly known as a triangle. Triangle is an example of a polygon. Interior angles on this polygon add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, we can make polygons with four straight lines. This would be a quadrilateral. There are many different kinds of special quadrilaterals which was covered in my other videos on angles and quadrilaterals. Please check that video if you haven't already done so. Now let's choose any vertex from this quadrilateral. And if a line was to be drawn from one of the vertex to connect the other vertex which is not already joined by the line, then this divides the quadrilateral into two triangles. As each triangle adds up to 180 degrees, interior angles on a quadrilateral is twice that amount, which is 360 degrees. We can also make polygons with five straight lines. This is known as pentagons. Choose any vertex from this pentagon and if the line was to be drawn from this vertex to any other vertex which is not already joined by a line, then we can divide this shape into three triangles. As each triangle adds up to 180 degrees, the total interior angles on this pentagon adds up to 540 degrees. Now suppose you are given six lines to make a polygon. What kind of shape could you make with these lines? Polygon you could make is a hexagon. Hexagons are polygon made out of six straight lines. This shape could be divided into four triangles. Therefore, the interior angles on hexagon add up to 720 degrees. Let's now summarize what we just found out. When polygons were made from three sides, we could only make one triangle, which is two less than the number of sides. Total interior angles here is 180 degrees. And when the polygons were made with four sides, we could make two triangles. This is also two less than the number of sides. Total interior angles for this polygon is 180 times 2, which is 360 degrees. And when the polygons were made with five sides, we could make three triangles. This is again two less than the number of sides. And the total interior angle here is 180 times 3, which is 540 degrees. Following on these patterns, if the polygon was to be made from say n number of sides, then there will be exactly n minus 2 number of triangles. Since interior angles on each triangle add up to 180 degrees, total interior angle T on n sided polygon will be given by the formula T equals 180 times n minus 2. If we now make a polygon with 7 sides, we can now calculate the total interior angle by substituting the n with 7 into the formula. This gives the total interior angle of 900 degrees. This is known as the heptagon. Similarly, polygon made out of 8 sides has total interior angles of 1080 degrees. This polygon is known as octagon. A 9-sided shape is called a nonagon and their interior angles add up to 1260 degrees. When the polygons are made out of equal straight lines and equal angles, they are not only just polygons anymore, they are now known as a regular polygon. Regular polygons are polygons that have equal sides and equal angles. Regular polygons made out of three straight lines is an equilateral triangle. Total interior angles on this triangle is 180 degrees. And there are three angles in this triangle, therefore size of each angle is given by dividing the total interior angle 180 degree by the number of interior angle 3, and this gives us 60 degrees. Regular polygon made out of four sides is a square. 
they have all sides equal and size of each interior angle is 90 degrees. The total interior angles add up to 360 degrees. Regular polygon made out of 5 equal sides are called regular pentagon. They have all angles equal and they add up to 540 degrees. Each angle of the regular pentagon is 108 degrees. Similarly, polygon made out of 6 equal sides are regular hexagon. Total interior angle of this shape is 720 degrees and each interior angle is 120 degrees and so on. Regular polygon gives rise to beautiful pattern when they tessellate. Tessellation simply refers to the repeating patterns of polygon without gaps or overlaps. For example, when you tessellate regular hexagon, it gives beautiful pattern of honeycombs. Have a go and tessellate different types of polygons and see what beautiful patterns you can generate. There are other properties of polygon that you will need in order to answer GCSE math exam questions. Take a look at this triangle. If we extend each line of the polygon, we create three exterior angles. Total exterior angles on this triangle add up to 360 degrees. Likewise, exterior angles of four-sided polygon also add up to 360 degrees. In fact, exterior angle of any polygons add up to 360 degrees. Furthermore, exterior angles and corresponding interior angles of polygon lies on a straight line. Therefore, they add up to 180 degrees. This is also true of any polygons. Let's now use this fact to solve geometrical problems involving polygons. Consider this question. We need to find the angle BCD in this question. Right angle is denoted with little square, so this angle is 90 degrees. If we let angle ABC be of size X degrees, then according to the question, angle BCD is twice that amount, and the expression for angle BCD is going to be 2X. In order to answer this question, we first recall that total angles on pentagon is 540 degrees. We can use the total interior angle formula 180 times n minus 2 for this polygon to work this out. We can also find the expression for the total interior angles in terms of x using the angles from the diagram. This expression must be equal to 540. Thus we can solve for x by rearranging this equation. This gives the angle ABC as 70 degrees, but we are asked to find the angle BCD, which is twice the angle ABC. This is given by multiplying 70 by 2. Let's look at another example. Bear in mind this diagram is part of the regular 12-sided shape. Side RS and ST are equal, and we are asked to find angle STR. Total interior angles on 12-sided polygon is 1800, which can be found from the formula T equals 180 times n minus 2. Any regular polygon has all interior angles equal, and all sides are also equal. Therefore, to find the size of one angle, we can divide 1800 by 12. This gives us 150 degrees. This is the size of the angle RST. Triangle RST is an isosceles triangle and base angle on these triangles are equal and all the angles here add up to 180 degrees. So subtract 150 from 180 to give 30 and divide this amount by 2 to give 15. This is the size of the angle SRT as well as STR. In this question we need to prove that regular polygon P is a hexagon. Only portion of the polygon P is shown in the diagram and full diagram of square and part of 12 sided regular polygon is also drawn. Note that regular hexagon have all angles equal and all interior angles are 120 degrees. Therefore we need to show that interior angles of regular polygon P is 120 degrees in order to show that the shape P is a hexagon. Total angles in a 12 sided regular polygon is 1800. There are 12 equal interior angles in a regular 12-sided shape. Therefore, size of each angle is given by dividing 1800 by 12, which gives us 150 degrees. Each angle on a square is 90 degrees. The total angle around the vertex is 360 degrees. 
Therefore, angle X is given by subtracting 240 from 360. This gives us 120 degrees. Hence, polygon P must be a regular hexagon as the shape has all sides equal and all interior angles are 120 degrees. Let's look at another question. In this question, we are given the exterior angle 60 degrees and the two partially drawn regular polygons are congruent. This means that the polygons are identical and all sides and angles are also equal. The exterior angles of this regular polygon is exactly 30 degrees and all of them are equal. Total of these angles add up to 360 degrees. This means if we divide 360 by number of exterior angles on this polygon, it should be equal to the exterior angle 30 degrees. Which means we can now find n by rearranging this equation and dividing 360 by 30. This gives us n as 12. Since the number of exterior angle is equal to the number of sides of the polygon, this shape must be 12-sided shape. 